This YouTube studio is fake. In this video, I'll show you how to change the background of your YouTube videos and this will make your videos look more professional even though you don't have enough money to buy expensive equipment and accessories most YouTubers have sitting in the background of their YouTube videos. And this can be done in three simple steps. The first step is to record yourself. Now, while recording yourself, you want to make sure that you have a good lighting. Because right now, I've been in my studio light facing me and in RGB light right on my left hand side. But if you don't have any light, maybe just only one point of light, you can just have one light facing yourself. And if you don't have any light at all, you just have to sit in front of your window. This is just to enable enough light to be on your on the subject, which is you. So that by the time you place your background in the video, so you won't be having some kind of light issues. So that make sure that there's enough light facing you. Another thing to keep in mind is that you should place your phone on a tripod. Don't make, make sure that nobody is holding a phone, but on a tripod or on any object you can place your phone. So that's just for the video to be stable. Because if you have a shaky, those shaky videos, by the time you place your background in the, in the image, you'll be having shaky videos that weren't smooth together with your background. So with that in mind, once you have recorded your video, the next thing is to get a background image. For the background images, I use this website freepix.com to get free images. So what I just do is go to freepix.com, then you enter YouTube Studio Background. And these are some of the images that were shown. So just head over and download some of any of these images when you find the one you like. So I'll just look for an image that I prefer and then click on download. So let's go for this image here. Click on download and then free download to download that image. So I also download some other images for this video. Also, if you want some other images, maybe you want a preferred image, you have a kind of image you have in your mind that want to generate. All you have to do is go to this website, leonardo.ai, then you click on create an account to get an account for yourself. And once you have an account, you go to this place, you see AI image generation. When you click on AI image generation, you can input some prompts to generate images for you for free. You have given 150 coins per day, so you can only generate about that. You'll be able to generate about 15, 10 to 15 images per day. So these are some of the images that I've generated using prompts. You just have to type in whatever you want to be in your pictures. For example, this image right here. I enter generate a YouTube thumbnail background with decent RGB light, a computer deck setup, blah blah blah. And this was the image the AI could just come up with. So you can generate this image and download it. So I'll just download some of the images that I've generated here and then we head over to edit our video. So to edit our videos, what I'll be using in this video is CapCut. Just search for CapCut on the Google search engine and then you download the CapCut app. So what we just want to do is to create a new project. Now we need to import our images. I already have the image and the video and everything that wants to use for this video. The images we generated from the, using the AI and the, some of the images I downloaded. So just bring this and bring it to the import it into CapCut. Then the next thing I'll do is to bring in our background image. So you can pick any of these images. Let me go with this first. I think I don't like the way this video looks like. And I don't like this image, so I'll have to change the image to something else. All right, let's go with something. Let's go with this. So all you just have to do is bring your image into the so we have our image here, then we bring our video, import our video into the timeline. And now we have our video and image. So what we do, I just do is to bring this image, is to stretch the image to fit this, the timeline. So we have our image and our video at the top. So what we do next is to remove the background of this video. So to do that, you click on the video right here, then you go to cut out, then click on auto cut out. So that will proceed. This will take some few minutes, depending on how large or how big the file size of your image is. All right, so once our image has been processed successfully, we should have this. Now the background has been removed, but something I love to do is this background, I love to make it a little, blow this background a little bit, and you can also stretch it to something that you can fit and also if you look at these images 
I found out that when I was recording the video, I was sitting down on a chair and that chair was not removed. You can still see it at the bottom right somewhere here, still showing in the clip, which I don't want. So what I just do is to, to bring my image a little bit, just remove where the chair is about and then I'll drop it. I just have to drag it down to fit the screen. You know, just play around with it and do you find something that matches the background and you like it that way. And I can decide to just stretch the background a little bit more. So one thing I, I love to do again is to blur the background just to create some depth to fit. Just to separate me from the background, I love to blur the background. So you have to go to Effects. Then you scroll down to Under Lens. You go to Lens. Another lens, you look for blow. I just have to go down till I find the blow effect. All right, so this is blow. Just have to drag it and place it on the image. This is not looking good. It's too much. Then you have to reduce it to whatever taste you want. I think it's okay at six. And that is all. So you have this. Once you find the video perfect, what you just do is to click on export to export the video so you can also have this tiktok version of your video and also the desktop version of your video that's just one thing and you can just include this and export this as well this youtube studio is fake in this video i'll show you how to change the background of your youtube videos and this will make your videos look more professional even though you don't have enough money to buy expensive equipment and accessories most youtubers sitting in the background of their youtube videos and this can be done in three simple steps